Wicked ist zurück. Die Geschichte der Hexen von Oz, an der sich so einige Welthits der letzten Jahre haben inspirieren lassen. Zuletzt lief das Erfolgsmusical bis 2011 in Oberhausen. Jetzt sind Glinda die Gute und Elfa Buddy Wicked Witch zurück in Hamburg. In einer komplett neuen Inszenierung mit neuen Kostümen und Kulissen, um erneut die Frage zu stellen, was ist wirklich gut und böse und gibt's das überhaupt? Bei mir ist Vajen van den Boss unsere neue Elfa Bar. Da Vajen keine deutsche Muttersprachlerin ist, wir aber wirklich in Depth sprechen wollten, haben wir uns auf Englisch geeinigt. In der Show spricht sie natürlich perfektes Deutsch und arbeitet sogar mit einem Phonetik-Coach zusammen. Hallo ihr Lieben, ich bin Vajen van den Bos. Hallo, hallo. Is that good? I'm from Holland. I live in Amsterdam. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, here in Hamburg now for Wicked. Some people may not know Wicked so well, so I was thinking about how do you get to know Alphaba, like the main character, and I was like, what if Alphaba were in the Hunger Games and she had like to win? What, how would she win? What would be her strategy? Because if I imagine Glinda, like the other part, I think she would be, I don't know, sneaky with this, this like a mean word, but like... She's really good with people. Yes. So Glinda would be like, you know, just make sure that she's creating those friendships, yes. those bonds or whatever. She would do that, definitely. And I think Alpha Bot would probably in the beginning not, <laughs> make, <laughs> not make friends in the beginning. But um, I think because of her strong... Uh, personality and of course the fact that she has she has magic within mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. She would use that <laughs> yes. definitely. Yes. And it depends. Like if you put Alphaba in the Hunger Games when she's younger and she has the magic already, of course, because she has it with her her whole life, but she doesn't really know how to use it then. So then she needs to, you know, when she gets like frustrated or things happen emotionally, then it comes out. She cannot really control it yet. The first one would end like a carry scene, like everything. <laughs> yeah, probably like, oh, what did I do? But if you would put like the, the second act Alphaba in the Hunger Games, then you would see more like this grown up lady who actually knows what she's doing and can control magic. So that would be a good one. Probably she's walking around with her magic book. <laughs> yeah. Wicked is like a phenomenon, like, all around the world, in like in Asia, in, in America, here in Europe and different countries. So what do you think makes it so special? I think the story is really the strong thing of the whole show. It's a beautiful story. The score, the songs are beyond amazing. It's just a really good script. It's a really good story and really beautiful songs. And um, we have this new version here, so um, yeah, it looks different. The set is different, the costumes are different, um, but we kept the beautiful story, of course, in the songs. There's so many people, like even in my community, that fell in love through Wicked because it was, I would say, like the first modern contemporary musical, like with contemporary music. Yeah. I just read it's like the Hamilton of its time, like when it came Oh, out. yeah, 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 I see. Now it's like in a modern version in Germany, something like this rarely happens, so what do you like about this new version? What, what is actually new? Yeah, I do remember when I got uh, the call if I wanted to do the casting. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then they said to me, uh, for Alphaba. <laughs> and I was quiet and I said, for Alphaba? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I'm like, I'm, I was like, can I, can I sing that? Can I play that? Am I the type? I'm not so tall, you know? <laughs> I just had this this thing in my mind, like this this picture of this amazing lady. And I was like, I, I don't think I can do that. And then they were like, no, we, we, we just want to try and we will make a, a completely new version. And then I got excited because how cool is that? And I do remember in rehearsals that our um, choreographer said to us, this is something really special because everybody loves Wicked already. It is already such a successful show, so many fans, and we have this chance to be the first production here in Hamburg, in Germany, to create this completely new version of it. And I really love the magic tricks in the show. Mm -hmm. I think it's breathtaking sometimes. I do hear that from people as well when they come and see it. The set is really, really amazing. And I think uh, they cast it a bit different. And of course, every everyone who is who is coming to the show brings something else to the table. So mm -hmm. whoever got casted or wh whatever, it just, it's it's always new. Uh, but this version is a really, really, yeah, really new thing. 
I'm really excited but what you guys so, think when yeah. you are going to, to watch. Yeah, I feel like like my, I don't know, 15 year old self again. When, <laughs> I, when I first like listened to the soundtrack and just like had pictures in my mind. And then it's like, when, when I first saw the original shows, like you open your eyes and you see all these scenes. And it's like recreating this thing, but with a new version, right? Because yeah. it's the same sound, the songs are the same, the dialogue is the same. Yes, the script is the same, the songs are the same. Some lyrics has changed, but like little, little, little. Mm -hmm. um, but the arrangements are really, really uh, different. Modern, oh. So I think you oh, will nice. hear like new stuff. That's so and, cool. And it's, what I really like, it's more modern mm -hmm. as well. And um, I had friends in this week and they were like, whoa, when uh, Solange Die Haap started, they were like this in the audience because of the, the, the bass. And it, it, it's also the same in Tanz durch die Welt. It's a complete, it's, it, it, it's so different when you hear it. So I think it's really exciting because you can do, you can change that music because the music is so great. Yes. You can change things and it makes it different. Let's first stay with the character with Alphaba. Yeah. Because I mean she was like woman of the year in some magazine one time and was like it's like this <laughs> this huge uh, larger than life character. Yeah. So were you very afraid like, to be compared to like other names like Dina Menzel or Velamain Bakaik or did, did you because you said you had like a freedom to like create scenes new. Yeah. How was that? Yeah of course well the, the thing is um, because I never, I never expected to be a part of this show. And when I got the call that I got the role after um, many auditions, I was so surprised because it was not, you know, you have in your head when you are in musical theater and you, you have this job, you, you have this little list in mind, like, oh, this role would be nice or that mm. show I would love to do. This was never in my mind because I was like, I'm not the type or whatever. So I never really sang the songs as well. And then after all these auditions, I, I, loved, I loved the show already, but I fell in love with her as well. Mm -hmm. Because what I think is so great about the whole character is that she's an outsider. And I think we all know in many different ways, probably, how it is to not fit in sometimes and what I really love about her is that she comes in and people are or scared of her or are amazed by the way she looks not in a good way yes. but and she is like she's staying uh, true to herself because she has this this power inside that's where the magic comes from for me as well she's such a strong la lady even though people think she's weird or scary or whatever she's pushing through because she she is so strong and i think that's why she's also a huge um can be an example for people as well she was for me even though like your the whole situation or the world around you is not accepting you you can still accept yourself and move the way you want to move and and stay stay true to yourself and she yes. is so good at that. She she's a really strong lady. That's something I loved about her, like always. That everybody tries to frame her as bad, but she yeah. just like literally defies above that and be like, okay, I do my thing, no matter what other people say yeah. or think. And after watching the show, you can't tell what which is good, which is bad. It's just like definitely yeah, because that's the, that's the nice thing as well. Because it's there's no good. What is good and what is bad? There you go yes. already. But I, the friendship between those two ladies, between Glinda and Elphaba, who are so different yes. in every single way, they just found each other yes. and they created this beautiful friendship because they they because they are so different, they so fit. I remember when I first listened to the soundtrack, I thought it was a lesbian love story because. <laughs> because <laughs> I miss, well, it miss me. <laughs> yeah. You never know. It's just like this this uh, frenemy stuff, and then when they go to for good, it's like, oh my god, that's really like a, a huge friendship. We make jokes as well backstage sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, Tuna Jimu's fear, or like, uh, <laughs> yeah. I always understand loving instead of loathing because my English was very crappy back then. Loathing. I 
unadulterated loathing. I love it. Loving. And I was like, why are they so mean when they love each other? Yeah. I don't get this. Oh my gosh. Loving. This is so embarrassing. I remember that one. <laughs> okay, so we have some questions from our viewers. And yeah. Merle fragt, what is the best thing in this new show? Like the one, if you have to pinpoint it, like one thing that you love the most. You already mentioned the magic tricks. I want something new. <laughs> I want something new. She's really defying gravity, guys. I actually fly. I am flying. Come and see that. That's what I love the most. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I really want to see that because that's like the one iconic scene you have in mind when you think wicked, right? Defying right, gravity. Yeah, yeah. Are you nervous when you know, like in the first act, is it like, oh my gosh, defying gravity, I just have to make it through defying gravity and then? Yeah, it's, it's always a moment, I have yes. to say. When the scene starts, I'm always like, ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's never relaxed. No. But like everyone in the auditorium is as well oh no because i think that's why i have it as well yes. because we all know what's about to come yes. <laughs> you don't want to mess up okay another question is from hello <laughs> that's the hello. name actually how do you stay healthy in showbiz especially like your voice if you have to oh, yeah. do divine gravity like six times six shows a week i really have to make sure that i sleep enough mm -hmm. that's that's really important because i really feel it when i didn't sleep so much so that's the most important thing and of course drinking as well some people can like just have a party or have because my voice, like, mm. I have to make sure that I do not really do that. Because vocal, it's just really hard vocally. Yes. And this show, it's because it's the 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 whole line that that she's that I'm playing when I when I'm playing Alphaba is so like she's constantly doing this. And after yes. show, I'm like, <gasps> you know, because she starts with this little lady who's coming to the school, and then she just. In the second act, she completely changed already in the beginning. So I have to make sure that I do not cross those borders sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, that I'm not like totally. going over it. But that's a personal thing to me that I sometimes have to say to myself, oh, keep it down because otherwise I'm going like, oh, ah. yes. Then the variation of this question, doing a show like six to eight times a week for, in the best uh, case, like for several years, mm -hmm. how do you play it like it's the first time you're telling the story? With this character, it's quite easy. Easy in the way that I just go on stage and, and everything is like, it just overcomes her. Just be in the whole story. And because she has this beautiful line, it's quite easy to do and you have to start from scratch every night. Like just, I always take a moment for myself before I go on stage and then just, just be in the moment. That's the important thing, I guess. If you're really in the moment and you listen to each other and to your colleagues and you are like really open to everything that happens because every evening is different. Even though mm. you play the same show, it is yes. different every night. So I think if you um, are really allowing yourself to be open and just listen to everything and see everything what's happening around you, then it feels new every night in a way. Yeah, that's uh, why I love live theater because it's never the same show, right? When we were in London, I watched Hamilton for like 20 times because when just like one member is another, like played by another yeah, cast member, completely it's, changes. it's a, yeah, different show. You have yeah. to, yeah, like you can just watch that person the whole night. Yeah. It's like a totally different yeah, story. Like that. Yeah. And that happens of course when we have like other people on and Janine and I were doing six a week and then we have Judith and Lois are playing Linda and Elphaba as well. They do it twice uh, a week. And and covers are there, you know, just yes. it all changes and it makes it new every time. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. Uh, what would you do if you had witchcraft, like if you could do some magic? Oh my god, <laughs> I would do a lot, I guess, <laughs> in my life. The Same. most easy things at home, probably like cook a meal or whatever, you know, it starts there already. Uh, no, but I, I sometimes I have to think when I'm up in the air and I'm flying over the ice, I'm like, can you imagine that you actually could, could fly? That would be so cool, that right? Would be like my, if I would have like, have a superpower, it would be, I would love to fly. Same. That would be Do You know, like amazing. when you dream and you can fly and then you wake up and be like super frustrated, it's just a dream. Yeah. Ah, it's not like yes. mm, still in the normal world. <laughs> so. I name a pop queen and you say if it's more a Glinda or an Alpha. Okay. Okay, so what about Britney? Oh, Glinda. <laughs> it's a Glinda, right? Oh, Glinda. <laughs> what about Gaga? I'm a huge fan of Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha. Yeah, because she's more the underdog, right? She but is the underdog. And what I really love about Gaga is that she she just does what she wants. Yes. You know, that's if I very want to look this way, yeah. I do it. If and I think this is nice. Yeah, and that second act, 
Alphabet, right? Definitely, yeah, <laughs> totally. definitely, yeah, definitely. And in a way, also the first as well, because in a way, she she is like that already. But yes. of course, there she's also insecure. Yes, yeah, Lady Gaga, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Alphabet. And Beyonce. And Beyonce. I say alphabet. Okay. Oh, it's her, right? She's not like so. She's oh, this this power. She's, she, power yeah, she's woman. so strong. She is so strong, <laughs> and that's what I really like about Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say alphabet. Okay, then an easy one, Katy Perry. It's no, like not even a question. Okay, and. Adele. Oh, Adele. I'm so fan of Adele. <laughs> now, Adele, um, I think Alphaba as well. Adele's like this, I'm not that girl, Alphaba, right? I'm not That's like this, 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 this sad song, Alphaba. It's, it's like a very particular moment. And what I also Alphaba. like about, because in that, in that song, I'm not that girl, is she's not playing the victim, you know? She, she really understands why Fiero is not liking her. Yes. Or seeing her that way, because she's not seeing her that way as well, herself. And that's what I like in Adele's song as well. She is still this strong lady, even yeah. though she can write about like a broken heart or whatever in a really beautiful way, you still feel that her, her power. Yeah. I'm Not That Girl is actually, in the German version, also a very gay song for me. Like, my gay awakening was like, really? Ich bin es nicht, because it's not like framed for a girl, you know? And it's like, this yeah. this love you can't have, because it's just not possible that this person would be like attracted to you. Oh, I cried so many <laughs> tears over this song. Oh my god, yeah, <laughs> I never thought of that. That's really nice. Yeah, I love that in the German version because it's like gender neutral. I love really it. Cool. I will think of this right now. This will stay <laughs> in my head. That's cool. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. Thank it was you. so amazing. It was so much fun. Yeah, I loved it. Thank you. Von daher, kommt nach Hamburg, schaut euch die neue Wicked Inszenierung an. Selbst wenn ihr die alte nicht gesehen habt, diese Show ist einfach. Everything, wie gesagt, das ist meine ganze Jugend, das hat meine Liebe zum Music entfacht. Ihr müsst es einfach sehen. Link zu den Tickets unten in der Videobeschreibung. Schaut doch bei ihr unbedingt nochmal auf Instagram vorbei, denn in dieser Szene ist es auch super wichtig, dass wir auf den Social Media Plattformen unser Gesicht zeigen, weil auch das bei Castings zum Beispiel eine Rolle spielen kann. Und lasst nette Kommentare da. <lacht> Bis dann. Tschüss.